What's up, Wolverine Nation? Welcome to another episode of Michigan Football, the vlog with your boy Dino, a.k.a. The Game. I got five things I'm going to talk about real quick today because we all know it's a day of the Peach Bowl. Michigan playing at Florida for the fifth time. Uh, we're 4-0 against Florida, but that doesn't mean we're going to be 5-0 against Florida. First thing on my agenda list, the last game. The last game, it hurts. That's why it took me a while to come back in front of y'all. Y'all look down at some of the comments below. It's not a lot, but you know the Buck Nuts has been harassing me. And all I got to say about that game to you, Buck Nuts, I got nothing. I got nothing, really. I have no, it's, There's nothing I can say. We lost, we got beat down, and we deserved it. We didn't show up. Our defense didn't show up. I got nothing. So keep leaving y'all comments below. I'm glad y'all happy y'all can razz on me. But that's okay. I can take it like a man. I can dish it out. And I can take it. But I got nothing. And it still hurts. Second up, Urban Liar. Urban Liar, Liar, Liar. I am so tired of Michigan fans, Michigan analysts saying we should be happy because Urban Meyer leaving. Finally, we probably can beat Ohio. I didn't want Urban Meyer to leave. I wanted to beat him. He's a great coach. Now when we beat them, all we're going to hear is talk and smack about, y'all couldn't be Urban Meyer. Y'all couldn't be Urban Meyer. Y'all beat a rookie coach, but you better not be sleeping. Because if we lose the Ryan Day, it's going to be a whole nother can of worms open. Y'all couldn't be Urban Meyer. Y'all couldn't be the rookie coach. Ohio has y'all number. So uh, we need to get this win, no matter who's the coach. But I wish Urban Lyon Lyon really didn't leave. I really wanted to be him. And I felt like Jim Harbaugh could be him. With that being said, we're going to move on to number three. Everybody's talking about the player sitting. You know, Chase Winovich, he's a dog. He's a beast. He's playing, going to forego his surgery to his shoulder and playing a peach ball. He's one person I wish that would sit out. I wish he would take care of himself. And to the five players or six players or whatever it may be that's not playing, I'm not mad at you. You do what you got to do because Devin Bush, that's my dog. Rashawn Gary, he's a beast. Karan Higdon, much love. The two cornerbacks right now, I can't even mention their names. But y'all know who they are. David Long and the other guy. I just heard uh, Queenie Pay is not playing. The first time they do play and one of them get hurt, the first thing everybody's going to say is, I don't know why they played. Nobody put a gun in their head. If I was going to the NFL, I wouldn't have played no matter what nobody says. So you're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. And don't be saying they ain't Michigan men because all those boys that's sitting out are Michigan men. They got us to 10-2. and two. With that being said, the ones that's sitting, much love. The ones that's playing, much love. With that being said, on to number four. Zach Harrison. The player that changed his mind from coming to Michigan and going to Ohio because his family and friends was ragging him saying, oh, well, he was at the last game where we got blew out. But they was ragging on him saying, you're going to be back in Michigan in four years. You're going to come back home to Ohio. Everybody's going to be talking junk like you lost four years in a row. And that changed his mind. You know, when a player comes to Michigan and they flip to another school because, you know, maybe – they signed too quick. Maybe they signed on the first day they was here. Maybe they didn't go to another school and check it out. And they flipped from Michigan to go to another school. Don't rag on them. They're kids. I don't rag on them. For a player to say he changed his mind because he don't want to get beat four years in a row and have to go home and deal with it, that player, I don't want him on my team. So, Zach Harrison, go to Ohio. When, you, when we beat you four years in a row, you can go back home with your family and with your friends, and they can tell you, man, you lost to Michigan four years in a row. Guess you should have went to Michigan. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. And last but not least, number five. Number five. I am so sick and tired of playing Florida. I was going to go to the Peach Bowl. I couldn't do it. We're 4-0. I've been to two games against Florida just last year. First game of the year against Florida. We They couldn't find another team for us to play. Now we got to play Florida again. I'm not even saying we're going to win. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Psych. We beating them. But anyway, 4-0 against Florida. And we're going to end up playing them again today. Hopefully we come out with a victory. I'm going to give you the score. A lot of defensive people not playing. So we're going to make it kind of close. We're going to go 35 Michigan, 28 Florida. And with that being said, please, 
Please, after this game, no more Florida and Michigan, unless it's basketball. Please. So, we're going to get to, uh, y'all thought I forgot, show and tell. Show and tell. <sighs> Got this lovely Michigan cooler. Now, pockets here, cooler here. Opens nice for, uh, I don't drink, so... Nice for some Pepsi. Oh, look. Oh, oh, snap. You come on, man. You know how I do. Michigan all over the place. But that's nice. My lovely wife again bought this for me. Or maybe it was one of my friends. Everybody know I love Michigan. They know if they got a black M on it and it says Michigan, I can't be mad. So with that being said, watch the game. 12 o'clock today. Stay true. Go blue. I'm back to work. And after this, I'll be uh, giving y'all some updates on recruiting. I'll be doing more videos um, frequently because, again, it still hurts. I had to wait a while. I'm out.